Hey guys, it's your best boxing friends. I'm Kelsey. This is Rachel. Rachel Manny Pacquiao versus Keith, sometimes Thurman, July 20th. I think it's a Fox pay-per-view. Big fight, huge fight in the welterweight division. Thurman just came back from a long layoff. Um, he fought Cito Lopez, got rocked in the fight, won the fight. Yeah. Uh, Manny Pacquiao. So that he recently said that he's going to do to Manny Pacquiao what Pacquiao did to Oscar Dillon. That's right. He's going to end Manny Pacquiao's career. And then, more interesting to me, is afterwards, he's not going to fight again this year. <laughs> so, he'll have two fights. It'll be July 20th. it will be halfway through the year, and then he's going to take the rest of the year off. <laughs> That's why I called you sometimes, Thurman. <laughs> That's not mine. I actually saw Keith Thurman. Uh, he said he saw all the people that come out with those puppet nicknames, and that, that was one of his favorites. <laughs> so, I was like, yeah, I like that the good one, Keith, sometimes Thurman. Because his real nickname is One Time Thurman. Right. Which I guess could also be. I only fought one time this year. <laughs> Technically, I'm two times this year. I still, I think, you know, you're supposedly in your prime. For some reason, you still have an alphabet but title around your waist, even though, I mean, now I know he just fought, but still, he's held that title belt for a really long time. Um, PBC seems like they're preparing for a showdown between the winner of this fight and uh, Earl Spence, the winner of Earl Spence versus Sean Porter, so probably Earl Spence, um, to kind of crown the king of the PBC welterweights, which I think is an important fight, a very important fight. Um, but why do we have to wait until 2020 to consider the fight happening, yeah. right? I don't know. On one hand, like, What's this part hand? of me is disappointed. And, you know, this is why, like, I've cooled on Keith Thurman. Like, I just am like, like, you're not going to fight very often. And sometimes when you do fight, you don't give it your all. And this is just not what gets me going as a boxing fan, right? But on the other hand... I've got to kind of respect somebody who is just like uh, a yeah. weird cat and is going to live his life however he wants to live it. Yeah. You know? And, like, yeah. for all I know, like, you know, maybe he's, it sounds like he's not even taking to heart, like, a lot of the criticism he's received or, or stuff like that. And I have to respect that, too. Like, he really seems not unhealthily codependent. And yeah. uh, so I kind of have to appreciate that, that, like, yeah, like, you put yourself, like, you're in a position where you seem to be doing fine financially, and so you can take time off and do whatever you want and have a relaxed life. I mean, I feel like I struggle every day just searching for peace in my life, and, you know, maybe Thurman has found, like, the way for him to obtain that and not run himself ragged and 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 operate, like, in a scarcity model. Yeah. Well, I, res I can respect Keith Thurman as a human being and still not like the choices he makes as a professional boxer. It's the same thing with uh, Gary Russell Jr., who is an immense talent, but um, hasn't fought as often as you'd like to see right, yeah. an immense talent. Fight. Same thing goes with Keith Thurman. Thurman has probably, well, I don't know, they may be kind of the same kind of fighter. Thurman at least seemed to be on his way to being the best welterweight after Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao. But then just let it all slip away. And now definitely he's not, if he's the highest he could possibly be is number three behind Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford. And even then, I don't think you can, I don't know why he would, what he's done in the last two years. You don't just beat Jose Cito Lopez barely and claim the number three spot in a deep and talented welterweight division. I have some concern about Keith Thurman because it seems like, I've also read something about how he basically trained himself at uh, LA Fitness or some fitness chain like that for the Jose Cito Lopez fight, you do not want to go, I don't care how old he is, you do not want to go into a fight against Manny Pacquiao with one foot in and one foot out of boxing, because Pacquiao will quickly move that one foot that you have in boxing right out of boxing. Yeah, I, 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 I agree with that, although, like, I'm completely open to, like, Thurman making, like, us eat our words. Like, Oh, yeah, I mean, it would like, be better for the sport of boxing if a younger fighter who has Keith Thurman's talent established himself as a great fighter the way Manny Pacquiao was great in his prime. Yeah. I'm just saying that, like, it is not it smart like to go into a Thurman fight that. that is such a close fight for the odds makers. Thurman's a slight favorite, but it's not, you know... Right. It's much different than if Mayweather and Pacquiao fought. Like, Pacquiao's a lot better underdog to a guy like Mayweather. Would be a lot bigger underdog to a guy like Earl Spence, but isn't against Keith Thurman because it's just how the matchup works out. Pacquiao's so fast, he's got so much power, he's gonna uh, attack 
Thurman from angles that he's not used to seeing. And I think that, like, you better be fully committed to boxing if you're going to step in that boxing ring. Or, you know, especially, like, this is a situation where Manny Pacquiao's going in as an underdog. Historically, Manny Pacquiao is an underdog. As an underdog um, at least against... Shines, yeah. Yeah, he shines. He didn't against Mayweather, but if you look back at that fight, it was very clear that he went into that fight with an injured shoulder and yeah. wasn't able to compete 100%. I'm not saying that the fight would have turned out any differently. I'm just saying that, like, we would have seen a different... We would have seen a version of Pacquiao that threw more punches and tried harder. Yeah. Which yeah. he typically does against when he's an underdog. So. Right. I'm really excited about that. I'm really excited about our followers who like, comment, and subscribe um, to Real Talk with Kelsey and Rachel. We appreciate you. We're going to take you with us. We decided to take all of you with us to New York. Going to New York in a, about a week and a half for the uh, Anthony Joshua versus... Uh, Andy Ruiz fight. We're really excited. We're going to take you, we're going to do a travel log, if you will. Come with us behind the scenes, all the hottest locations in New York, such as the airport <laughs> and the airport bathroom. No, I don't know. <laughs> I don't have a very old idea, but it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm sure we'll see a lot of people in boxing that you know, and we'll try to say hi to them as well with you, and yeah. we'll introduce you. <laughs>